any good morals to your majesty? Is it good morals, lord? It is one o'clock and past. Why then, good morals to you all, my lords. Have you read or the letters that I sent you? We have, my liege. <clears throat> then, you then you perceive the body of our kingdom, how foul it is, what rank diseases grow, that with what danger near the heart of it it is, it is, but as a body yet distempered, which to his former strength may be restored, with good advice and little medicine. My lord Northumberland will soon be cool. Oh God, that m might read the book of fate, and see the revolution of times, make mountains level, and the continent weary of solid firmness, melt itself into a sea, and other times to see, the beachy girdle of the ocean, too wide for Neptune's hips, how chances mock, and changes fill the cup of alteration. With diverse liquors, oh, if this were seen, the happiest news of viewing this progress through what perils past, what crosses to ensue, would shut the book and sit him down and die. Tis not ten years gone, since Richard and Northumberland, great friends, did feast together, and in two years after, were they at wars, it is but eight years since. This, Percy, was the man nearest my soul, who, like a brother, toiled in my affairs, and laid his love and life under my foot. Yea, for my sake, even to the eyes of Richard, gave him, gave him defense. But which of you was by you, my cousin Neville, as I remember? When Richard, with his eye brimful of tears, then checked and raked by Northumberland, did speak these words, how proved a prophecy, Northumberland, thou ladder by which my cousin Boiling Brook ascends my throne. Flew then, God knows I had no such intent, but the necessity so bowed the state that I and the greatness were compelled to kiss. The time shall come, thus did he follow it. The time will come, that foul sin gathering head shall break into corruption. So went on, foretelling this same time's condition and the diversity of our amity. There is a history in all men's lives, figuring the nature of the times deceased. The witch observed, a man may prophesy, with a near aim of the main chance of things, as yet not to come to life, which in their seeds and weak beginnings lie untreasured. Such things become the hatch and brood of time. And by the necessary form of this, King Richard might create a perfect guess, that great Northumberland, then false to him, would of that seed grow to a greater falseness, which should not find a ground to root upon, unless on you. Are these things then necessities? Then let us meet them like necessities. And that same word even now cries out upon us. They say the bishop and Northumberland are fifty thousand strong. It cannot be, my lord. <clears throat> Rumor doth double like the voice and echo. The numbers of the fear, please, please it your grace to go to bed. Upon my soul, my lord, the powers that you already have sent forth shall bring this prize in very easily. To comfort you the more, I have received a certain instance that Glendower is dead, and your majesty hath been this fortnight ill, and these unseasoned hours perforce must add unto your sickness. I will take your counsel, and were these inward wars once at hand, we would dare lords unto the Holy Land. 